Tostando chiles, tostando chiles. Yo, what's happening, my peoples? I love y'all. Thanks for sticking with me like always. I can't say it enough. So, today I'm going to do something like totally, totally different. What I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook. Lately it's something I picked up. I actually, you know, sounds like, uh, sounds a little fruity, but... You know, I don't care. I don't care. I like food. So now I've actually rediscovered the fact that I actually like to cook food. So I find it very therapeutic. What I'm going to make today, you know, I figure what the hell if I'm going to cook. You know, I've actually been cooking for a little while now, but you know, just something that occurred to me like, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to make a video. So uh, a quick little Mexican dish. It's called um calabacitas, calabazas, meaning it's just zucchini. Um Fried up with some some tomato, onion, and some chili. Well, I just shown you guys right here some chili, and uh, you just saute it up, and you put some corn in it, and then you top it off with cheese. It's a really really good dish. So uh, let's do this. So right now we got some chilies toasting. Chilies are toasting right now. So let them blister. What you want to do is you blister the skin, and then after they're all good and done. Um, you bag them up and then uh, you peel off the skins. So right now I'm gonna put these aside. So what you need, um, tomato, dice up some tomato, tomato, Make sure your knife is sharp too. Because if not, you're going to have a hard time cutting all this stuff up. So, what you want to do is you want to dice up a tomato. Uh, actually, two and a half tomatoes. I just seen there's just. There's a tomato here just chilling. Let's see, my knife isn't that really sharp. Tomato. Now I'm gonna do quick cuts. I don't want to waste your time, so uh, let me get this tomato diced up, and then I'll come right back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I went ahead and I uh, diced up all the tomato, uh, cut up some onion, and right now I'm actually uh, dicing up some uh, some garlic, uh, mincing it actually. Um, I personally I love garlic. I just don't like uh, big chunks of it so I always go out of my way to uh, mince it as much as I can in ecstasy, when you lay down next to me. So right now the chilies are done. And we're gonna put them in a bag and let them steam. What am I? Bien un poquito. The reason why I do that, so uh, steams the bag, steams the skins. Este es con el color. That's it. Okay. Este le tenemos que poner la tapadera para que se fríe. No lo encuentro. No lo encuentras. Oh, okay, there's a layer. So, just let those uh, saute. Uh, medium, medium heat. That's all right. Now, uh, these are almost done. Look at that, very nice. Don't panic about the water, that's normal, because you know, the veggies carry water, so you want to cook all that stuff out, let it steam out, and then you can uh, slightly fry it. So uh, it's coming along quite nicely. I'm just going to turn down the heat a little bit. Uh, that's about right. Mal tenlo. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Ya está grabando. Oh, okay. 
So now that you're doing that, you want to add some garlic salt, a little bit for taste, a little bit of salt, and some black pepper. So you don't want to add too much, you could always add it later, but just to taste. Garlic salt. That cook some more. Hi, mom. Hi. Hola. <laughs> Dile hi a los fans de Easy. A los friends? Fans, miss. Ah, fans. Okay. Hi. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the uh, vermicelli. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toast this up. Get it golden brown. Uh, we have some other stuff here. I'm not gonna put it in yet, it's too thin. So I'll put that in once this is almost done toasting. Um, and then this is gonna be the sauce for the sopa. Uh, it's just a couple tomatoes, a little bit of that onion that I had left over, uh, clove of garlic, some tomato paste. Oh shoot, speaking of that. I put, you put half a little can of tomato paste. The other half I put, the other half I put in this, just to add some a little bit more flavor and some color. And this is this smells great. I wish you could smell this stuff. It smells fantastic. So this is man, it smells good. All right, it's still coming along. All right, so I like to make the sauce in advance. Reason being is because this stuff, this stuff, when it gets toasty. You don't want to get it too past a certain point because it'll burn and then it gives it a, a burnt taste if you know what I mean um, and it'll just throw the whole uh, the taste off and it's just not as appealing so I make this stuff in advance Like I said, this stuff, have it done in advance. <laughs> have that done in advance. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey, rosetas. <laughs> so my mom's go ahead and, uh, won't you steam them? Chile. Ah, uh, sauce. Peeling the chilies. Chiles asados? Yeah. Y ya le estamos quitando la cáscara. Para? Para picarlo y, y echarlo en la calabacita. Okay. So now I'm going to toast this. Let's get these nice and toasty. And uh, I'll be back when they're done. Yeah. Alright, so now it's golden bread. Me dieron una medicina en el trabajo. This is my favorite part. Me lo voy a poner ahorita. ¿Qué? 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 Get all these little stray ones out. No, down down the, in the mix. And there we go. And I'll check it for salt here in a little bit. And then bring that up to a boil and let it simmer about 20 minutes or so. This will be done.
my sous chef. All right, this mm. smells good. All right, be back. All right, so this is just about done. Uh, put in the chili and then put in a can of corn. So let that simmer slowly. Um, shredding some cheese. ¿De cuál es este? Queso. Deja ver. I don't know. Monterrey Jack. Monterrey Jack. Pero puedes poner lo que sea, ¿verdad? Sí, puede ser mozzarella también. So basically, based on taste, you could put whatever. Así rallado. Because we, uh, we like Monterrey Jack, but mozzarella is just as good. And uh, this is really starting, starting to simmer a little bit. And don't worry about the the uh, pasty looking stuff. That'll simmer away and it'll it'll cook over. It'll be all right. Um, I'm gonna have to check it for salt here in a little bit. Let's see how that turns out. So. Um, Basically it, right, mom? Hmm? Es todo. Sí. So. Yeah, no. yes. So I'm just checking on this. Okay. I wish you guys could smell this. Ya está, ¿verdad? Huele rico. Mhm. Bueno, ahora le ponemos el quesito arriba. Put the cheese. Aquí. Y lo dejamos un ratito que se derrita. Just gonna let it melt. And that is that. Okay. That is that. So, uh, come back and check on this. Just to wrap up the video, you know, a lot of Mexican dishes come with what? Rice and beans, right? Well, in this case, pasta and beans. And uh, we're gonna make home refried beans. None of that nasty. Uh, that nasty canned stuff. I can't stand refried beans in a can. That's just nasty to me. Um, you know, home refried beans are better. It's usually uh, todos. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have left over. We make beans in a crock pot. Uh, beans in a crock pot, pinto beans. Um, this is what's left over. We usually make beans about. ¿Cuántos frijoles? Una vez a la semana. Oh, cose? Yeah. So usually, like once a week, we uh, make beans in a crock pot. Easiest way to do it, honestly, just make them overnight in a crock pot. You don't have to worry about it. In the morning, you check on them, they're done. You put a little bit of salt to taste, and that's it. Uh, so right now, we got some oil that we fried pork chops in. Uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago we had pork chops. We're using the oil that's left over, and that's going to give a really, really good flavor. So, so now we're just going to... Let these uh, come to a simmer, um, practically to a boiling point. Uh, right now, just let them, you know, fry, and then we're gonna mash them with a potato masher, old school potato masher. And that is that. And these are coming along. This is coming along really good. But uh, these are done. Zucchini, um, corn, some chili. Toasted chili, that's good. And uh, some sopa with fidel. And some refried beans. That's it. This is the stuff my parents grew up on. And this is the stuff that uh, I like to eat too, from time to time, you know. There's nothing better than a steak, but I mean, sometimes, you know, you, you gotta do what you, what you gotta do. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my food. And I hope you guys learned a little bit of something, learned a little bit of uh, my culture. Comment, let me know what you guys like to uh, cook at home, or maybe a dish, something special to your family. Um, anyway, comment, reply to you. And now my mom tells me I have to go uh, make some more beans. Go figure. Yeah, mas frijoles? Diga, more beans. More beans. <laughs> So now I gotta make beans. I cook more beans. Cook more beans. I'm on it. Peace. Shh.